I don't have a lot of time. Let's just get to the sales. Welcome to Matt's Profit Pursuit. I'm Matt, I'm a part-time reseller who sells on eBay. And I make what sold videos so you see what's selling right now on eBay and break down each sale so you see exactly how much is made after fees, cost of goods, shipping, and taxes are taken out. So you get a realistic look on what it's really like to sell on eBay. Got 14 orders going out today. Let's see what sold. Pull this Napa racing hat. I paid 25 cents for this hat and it sold for $5 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $10.56. And after fees and shipping, I get a whopping $3 in my pocket. This Dutch Bros beanie. I paid 25 cents for this beanie and it sold for $12.99 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $19.33. And after fees and shipping, I get $9.08. The Seattle Manor's plush, still have the tag. I paid 55 cents for this plush and it sold for $16 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $23.45 and after fees and shipping, I get $13.61. This is Rock and Republic, a pair of jeans. I paid $1.70 for these jeans and they sold for $13.99 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $30 even and after fees and shipping, I get $13.23. This champion hoodie, it's not reverse weave, it's just the authentic athletic wear. I paid $2.50 for this hoodie and it sold for $12 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $21.99 and after fees and shipping, I get $6.66. A pair of women's dry fit, um, leggings they're the capri style so these don't sell as well as the full length ones i paid 75 cents for these leggings and i had them for a while so i took an offer of eight dollars plus shipping the buyer is all in at 13 dollars and 25 cents and after fees and shipping i get six dollars and 87 cents this is a tyndale shirt i don't even know what that brand is but i saw that it's fr so it's fire resistant I paid $1.25 for this shirt and it sold for $13 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $19.53 and after fees and shipping, I get $7.10. This puppet guy sold. This is a vintage 1998 Sunny & Co. puppet. I paid $1.60 for this guy and it sold on my half off sale for $17.49 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $27 even, and after fees and shipping, I get $10.92. This pair of Nike ACG hiking boots sold, and I really hope the buyer paid attention, because in the title and the description, I put that there's sole separation. I don't know if it can be fixed. I think it can. I think the adhesive just got old. These old Nike boots can sell well. I don't remember if I noticed the sole issue before I bought these or not. Um, I would not recommend picking them up. It is a gamble, but they're in really good condition overall And it's just the adhesive had gotten old and started separating so I'm sure they can be fixed I paid two dollars and sixty six cents for these and they sold for twenty two dollars plus shipping The buyer is all in at thirty six dollars and twenty two cents and after fees and shipping I'm left with fifteen dollars and ten cents This pair of kids vans High top skates, they're like the outdoor version. The tread is backwards, so it's sticking up a bit to get some traction. I don't think these ones are, but some of them are waterproof. I paid $2.30 for these shoes, and they sold for $15 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $24.95, and after fees and shipping, I get $12.32. A pair of cycling shoes, these are specialized brand without the clips I paid two dollars and forty cents for these cycling shoes and they sold for thirty dollars plus shipping but the buyer did say they haven't received it yet so we'll see what happens the buyer is all in at forty five dollars and forty six cents and after fees and shipping I get twenty seven dollars and fifty two cents this pair of Timberland Chelsea boots I paid $3.20 for these boots and they sold for $24.99 plus shipping. When I went to ship these I noticed that the buyer was charged $40 for shipping 
and I realized I had my dimensions wrong. Uh, so I decided to refund some of the money to the buyer. Although that's not necessary, they agreed to the price. I could have just kept it, but it was so much I decided to refund some. So they're all in $46.73. And after fees and shipping, I get $28.19. This microphone that I'm trusting works because I did not test it. This is a Natty Audio Ribbon Mic. Uh, RSM4 is the model. I paid 67 cents for this because electronics are super cheap at my bins and it sold for $53.99 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $67.67 and after fees and shipping, I get $47.90. I pick up leather boots and shoes a lot because if they're a good brand, they'll sell for a lot. Uh, whether they're work boots or cowboy boots. And a lot of people stray away from that because they're kind of heavy. I saw these and thought they looked cool. They're John Varvados. Made in Italy. They sell for a good amount. I paid $3.45 for these and they sold within a few weeks for $69.99 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $84.89 and after fees and shipping, I get $62.68. Nothing to talk about today. You'll see this after the fact, but today is Tuesday the 31st, so it's Halloween. So I gotta get this stuff shipped real quick so I can get with my family so we can go trick or treat. So let's break down the sales real quick. For those items, including what the buyers paid for shipping, I have a total of $450.29 in sales. After fees, I have $271.68, minus the cost of goods, which was only $23.53, and that gives me $247.70. Take away 25% for taxes, which is $61.92, and that leaves me with $185.78. Invest 20% back into the business, which is $37.14, and that leaves me with $148.64. There's about three and a half hours worth of work, so that gives me an hourly rate after all the fees and investing back into the business of $42.46. So that's it for me. I'll catch you on the next one. God bless. Peace.